Hey guys, it's Alicia here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below if you like what you see. Right now, I'm coming to you with a little commentary over a quick circuit that I did for abs. Say hi, daughter. That was my dog. Okay, so. <coughs> hey, stop. So, as I was saying, um, this is a quick ab circuit that I did. And what's happening here is I did five rounds of five exercises. It might not seem like a lot, but trust me, after five rounds, it burns. And I was doing 20 to 25 exercises per set. So here is just a simple abdominal crunch, but I'm really focusing on the contraction, pulling the belly button in, keeping my lower back on the ball. Abs are tight. And again, 25 reps. Next exercise I did, because core is not just your abdominals, it also includes your erector spine and your lower back. I'm doing body weighted uh, reverse hypers here. So you will get a little bit into the glute and hamstring, but you're focusing on your lower back and squeezing the erector spine. So your lower back is doing the work. You're really focusing on that squeeze here. So you come up, squeeze. You can even hold that pause for a little longer depending on how many reps you're doing. Since I was doing a higher rep, I didn't hold the pause as long. If I was doing a lower rep, I definitely would have held the pause for a lot longer and really feel that contraction and the burn from the exercise. Moving along here and in this raw footage here, I'm doing a what I call a leg drop with a kick up. So I'm dropping my legs, keeping my lower back flat on the bench as I'm letting my legs drop. So that's helping me activate my core. I'm pulling my belly button in, but I'm continuing to breathe. I'm not holding my breath. At the top of the exercise, I'm pushing my hips up using my lower abdominals to raise my legs. So that is all that's going on here. So I'll let this clip play out. Next exercise is a plank with a push out. So you can do circles, you can do push outs, you can do patterns, you can write the alphabet. Basically, you're activating your core. You're using your abdominals. I'm not using my arms for this exercise. I'm using my core. So I'm moving the ball forward as far as I can, keeping that core tight, back flat. Everything is engaged. Everything's pulled in. My obliques, my rectus abdominals, my lower back is tight, my squeezing my glutes. And again, I was doing this for a number of reps, so I did about 20 to 25 reps total. And then we're going to get into doo -doo -doo -doo, the last one. So this is one of Sean's favorite, and I tend to forget about it sometimes, but I saw him doing it, so I copied him, to tell you the truth. So I'm holding a bar, as you can see in the mirror. I'm sure, sorry that this angle isn't the greatest. I really thought I was in frame, but I wasn't. But thank goodness for the mirror. So you can see I'm keeping my abdominals tight. I'm twisting. And then I'm bowing. So I'm using my obliques here. I'm squeezing and pressing down. I twist, squeeze, and press. So I'm going down as far as I possibly can. My range of motion isn't great, but some people can really get a big range of motion. I'm still feeling it, even though I don't have as much range of motion. But you'll see here, squeeze, twist, squeeze. That's all you need to do. I'll let this footage play out. But again, I really want to thank you guys for tuning in to my quick abdominal workout. And I hope you're liking the content that I'm bringing you. I'm trying to get better at YouTube. I'm still new. So if you like this content, please subscribe. My content's only going to get better. And I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Happy working out, guys. And let me know if you try this workout.